Hello everyone, today in this video I'll be discussing how exactly you can use the Infobar WordPress plugin and customize it. Now with Infobar you can actually show different notifications on the top of your site, okay, and that basically helps you grab your visitors attention. So let's just get into its working today and see how exactly you can customize it. So I'm just going here to plugins. I've already got it installed. I'm just going to activate. All right, as soon as I'll activate it, you'll find this option Infobar over here, okay? So let's just go to notification entries. All right, now over here you can see we have got a notification example just to show you how exactly it will be appearing on your site. So let's just enable it and visit our site. All right, you can see this is our info bar and this is how the messages will be appearing on the top of your site. Now, let's just customize our own entry. So we'll come here to notification entries and we'll provide info bar name over here. So let's just be like notification and select option. Now in select option, you have got two options. Uh, one is simple message and the other one is message with opt-in. So first, let's see what is simple message. With simple message, you can just, you know, provide a simple message like this, okay? So let's just provide a message here. Now let me tell you, this also support HTML. So if you want to style your text and you want to use HTML over here, you can do that as well. Now notification type, uh, we have got three default notification, announcement, important and tip. So let's just choose announcement. And from here, you can choose the bar color and the font color. Now, since we are using the default notification type, so it has already got its default color and font color. So we are not doing anything on that. So let's just save now. Let's disable the example one and refresh our site. All right, now you can see this is an important notification and in your attention. This is the text that we wrote right now. Now let's just edit this. Now in message with opt-in, you will be getting two fields name and email so i'm just going to put the placeholder over here enter your name and enter your email and over here i'm going to put submit okay now let's just save and when you will refresh you will find this is how the notification appears okay name email we have got two fields and over here is the submit button and this is the message so in this way you can actually capture leads via infobar as well now let's go to notification type we have got three notification default notification now let's create a new notification type so i need to provide the icon path over here so let's provide it okay url now if you want that any person who clicks on this icon could be navigated to a different page you can provide a url for that icon so let it be in themes notification name uh, alarm notification size could be 25 pixel okay now we have to choose the background color okay Let's just choose the background color. Okay, I guess dark color will do, I guess. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. Mm, text color can be a bit light. Okay, uh, so let it be like this. Okay, now I'm just gonna click here and save. And this is our icon. This is the name, background color, and font color. Now let's go to entries and make an entry. Let me like alarm. Mm. Any text, whatever you can put. Over here, we have to choose the notification type as alarm, and I'm just going to click here on save. Let's just disable this one and refresh our site. And here we go. So this is our icon, okay, you can see. This is our icon and this is for your kind attention. Now you will find this text is coming up over here, hello, right? Now from where is it coming? For that we'll go here to settings and over here you will find bar announcement text. So this is exactly the place from where the text is coming. You just keep it as empty and you just click here on save. 
you know it will actually not appear over there and it will be just your notification okay so that is the bar announcement text now over here we have got bar type as fixed now bar type fixed means um when you scroll down okay you'll find this is remaining fixed at the top it's not moving from here so that is actually the fixed now if you choose it as in line and you just click here on save you'll find when you refresh and this will appear when you'll scroll it will be gone okay the scrolling up with the page so that is the inline now over here we have got bar announcement text size you can fix the size bar height button height even you can choose the display speed and over here you have got the font size as well okay now close open button position now left or right right now it is coming up from the left right this is on the left side if you want this thing to appear on the right side you can just choose right from here from here and it will appear on the right side now roles for notification these are the roles and if you want that editor author contributor or subscriber either of them uh, should be given the access to administer this info bar then you can just check these boxes and they will also be able to edit or delete the notification and then we'll go to mailing list now since we have got the name and you know email field over there and we have got an option to capture the leads so you can integrate your info bar with all these email marketing service providers and capture those leads and store them in your mailing list okay now if you haven't got a mailing list you can go for your own email address and you can get all the contact details on your email address okay then we have got subscriber list now what is the subscriber list now subscriber list is something like if you want all the leads that are coming through the info bar to get stored in your database okay you can choose yes from here and you can save and all the leads will be coming up over here this is for someone who don't have an email and also don't have the mailing list as well but that rarely happens but still depends on you how you want to use it also you can download the list that is coming up over here in either of these formats csv word or pdf now we have also got an option widget i'll tell you over here okay now when you choose this as widget and you click on save and from here on appearance you'll go to widgets and this is the info bar widget now let's come here and refresh you'll find a difference it's not appearing in the home page when you go here on the blog page, it will be appearing here. So this is basically used when you want the info bar to appear on all other pages except for your home page. So you can use it as widget and this is the info bar plugin. So this is how you can use it. You can customize everything from color to font to text and everything. And it depends on you what you want to show up to your visitors with this info bar. So do try this info bar for sure because it's going to benefit you in many ways. And if you've got any doubts or suggestions, just you can put it in the comment box and I'll be there to help you. Thanks so much for watching.